time in summer school with Philly. That is The Warning. Great band from Mexico. Three young girls with 21st century blood. Boy, I talk about my reality and I think about summer and I have great memories. I remember I met this girl one time, Sandy. She was from out of town and boy, I couldn't wait to get back to school to tell my friend Kaniki all about her. I mean, we tell her on the bleachers and wait a minute. Had me a blast. No, that's from the movie Grease. That wasn't my reality. It was someone else's. <laughs> but I enjoyed the movie, so I understand that reality. <laughs> Let's talk about realities today. There is something that's been going on. It's hard to understand. We saw someone on the news get killed. We saw looting. We saw rioting. We've seen many, many great protests, and I highly recommend protesting, but I don't with the looting and the burning, okay? Okay. And it comes from the black or African-American community. Um, it was a spark that ignited many, many years feeling like they've not been treated right. We like to think everybody came here on a ship to this country for freedom. No, not everybody. They came on a ship, but African-Americans came as slaves. That reality is different. Their reality of not being able to vote until 1965 is different than ours. I mean, we put a man in space four years before African Americans could vote. There was a huge movement in 1960s, late 50s and 60s, for the rights and the freedom of African Americans. Now it was all over, right? We solved that, just like we solved Korea with MASH. No, we didn't solve it. That continues. And young African Americans, well, the entire African American community, is crying out, saying, we're not being treated right. Their reality is different than ours. Their set of circumstances in the past is different. I could go on for days. I teach civil rights. I took a lot of civil rights in college. But I'll boil it down to this. I had a professor once. Someone asked, well, how do they feel, you know, African Americans? He said, I don't know, man. But I know why they feel that way. And he went on to explain all the things that's happened to that community. But how they feel is different because it comes from their reality. You and I have different realities. So what I want is some change to come and some good to come from all of this. What can we do? Well, we can embrace change without understanding it. Quote of the day today comes from Bob Dylan, my favorite artist. I'd love to play you, Bob Dylan. I can't. All his songs are copywritten. Um, song is times they are changing. Come mothers and fathers throughout the land, don't criticize what you can't understand. Your sons and your daughters are beyond your command. The old road is rapidly aging. Please get off the new road if you can't lend a hand, because the times they are changing. That's very important. The key word, don't criticize what you can't understand. So, protest. They have... Everybody has the right to the American dream and to get ahead. Um, how they feel is their reality, and it's different from a lot of ours. So let's embrace that, okay? Let's make positive change. Let people protest. Don't say it's okay to do the stupid stuff, but to protest and gather is the right thing to do. Let's hope change can come. Hey, guys, it's summer. I hope you get out there and embrace your reality. How many times have I told you you're good enough? Now think about that. Not everybody hears that. So listen, man, look for the helpers when you look on the news. You've seen a lot of terrible things, look for the helpers. That comes from Mr. Rogers. Look for the people who are lifting people up. That's the important part. Embrace that. All right, summer school, we're going to get out of here. Now, do you think I could do punk rock with summer? Oh, we got to go back to the Ramones, right? Rockaway Beach. And hey, guys, you're good now.